Hello everyone. These are the questions relating to the comparison of linear models and exponential models. So first question is this one. And in this question, the height of the ball is 12 feet initially and it is decreasing at the same factor of 0.6% as 60% is given. So second height would be a 7.2 feet as 60% of 12 is 7.2. Then third height could be the 60% of 7.2, that is 4.32 feet. So this is the completion of table. So x is the number of bounces and function of x or y is height of the ball. So at initially we have a 12 feet and first bounce will give me a 7.2 feet and second bounce will give me a 4.32 feet and at the 3, I have a 2.592. So I will find that it is 0 0.6. When I multiply by 0 0.6, it will give me this one. And again, if I will multiply by 0 0.6, it will give me this one. Again, if I multiply this with 0 0.6, it will give me this one. If I multiply this with 0 0.6, it will give me this one. So second will states that this is an exponential model or a linear model. So it is an exponential model as we have a same decay factor of 0.6%. So it is modeled as an exponential equation. As in the linear model, the slope must be same. As we know that 12 minus 7.2 give me 4.8 and 7.2 minus 4.32 give me 2.88 and so on. So we can easily see that our slope is not constant or same in all the cases. So it cannot be modeled as a linear. So let's go further. So the function clearly states that height of the ball y and it is exponential. So a, b, x. So x I will take as a number of the bounces. So y is equal to 12. 12 is your y intercept or the initial height. 0 0.6 is your decay vector and raised to power x. So this is the exponential equation. Then how many bounces it will take for the ball to less than 6 inches of the floor? As 1 feet gives me 12 inches, so 6 inches gives me 0 0.5 feet. So as per our exponential model, this one, if I put height of the ball as 0 0.5, it will give me a x six bounces. Okay, so it will be uh, invariably equal to six bounces, but I need a height which is less than six inches. So for height less than six inches, the bounces are seven. Okay, so I will just make one more bounce to make my height less than 0 0.5 feet. So that's why. 6 bounces are up to 0 0.5 feet and for less than 0 0.5 feet or 6 inches I need one more bounce that is 7th bounce. So answer is 7. So next question is so for this model I need a situation. So this is the model this is an exponential model. So I made a situation here that government is spending or uh, starting a welfare scheme for underprivileged people from 2020 with 100 million as an input and decreasing at the rate of 3% every year. So it could be your y-intercept, which is 100 in this case, and 0.97 is your decay factor. So I will make at a rate of 3%. So decay factor would be like this. So as we know that b is equal to 1 plus r. So if I make like this, so it will be a, so I, so I have a decreasing factor. So this is 1 minus 3%. So it will give me a 0 0.97 decay factor. So it will be like this. So I have make situation like this. So you can make any situation in the same way. Let's move to the next question. So this is a question in which uh, Department of Economic and Social Affairs in 1919 population stands at 6 billion and growing at this one annual net addition of 78 million people. So these two statements are contradictory, very much clear. 
that first statement is at 1.3% one year. This is exponential behavior. And when we have an addition of 78 million each year, then it is a linear model. It is given by the table. So from 99, I just make a table from 99 to 2002. So it is number of years. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So when I see that initial population is 6 billion, and if you see that it is 6.078 in the next year as per exponential behavior. So 1.3% is increasing. So our factor would be a 1.013. So this is a B. I find out as B is equal to 1 plus R. So R in this case is 1.3% and 1 plus this one. So it will give me a 1.013. Okay, so this is a, just a factor. And it is growing like this. So in the next year, I just multiply by 1.013. So it will give me this one. And this is a, just a exponential behavior. In the same way, linear model initial population will be a 6 billion. And in the next year, we have a just a increment of 78 million. So 6.078 billion have been increased in the next year. Then we have again addition of 78 million next year. Then it means just adding 78 million here and again adding 78 million here. So this is just a linear model. So that's why these two statements are contradictory each other. So just B part, 78 millions to billions. So 1 billion have a zeros, 9 zeros, and 1 million have a 6 zeros. So to convert 78 millions into billions, we have to divide 78 millions divided by the 1 billion. So it will give me a 0 0.078 millions. C part, just make a linear model for this population so I accept this equation and y could be a word population so this is a slope 0 0.078 x is the number of years and 6 is a y intercept or you can say this is the initial population in 1999 and for the exponential behavior I just take a equation y is equal to abx this is a generalized equation for the exponential model. So y is the world population, 6 is the initial population, 6 billion, and 1.013 could be a growth factor, and x is the number of years since 1999. So I just complete the table with the help of these exponential and linear models. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and this is a 2005, so it is a 6 years from 1999, and 11 years from 1999 to 2010. So as per linear model, initial population is 6. And for the next year, I can just use the equation, which is 0 0.078x plus 6. Okay. For So it means for the first year, 0 0.0781 plus 6, it will give me a 6.078 and 0.0782 it will give me a 6.156 and so on you can calculate any number of years or any population in the same way for the exponential i just use this equation 61.013 x so for first year 1.013 1 it will give me a 6.078 for second year 1.0132 it will give me a 6.157 and in the same way 1.013 third year it will give me a 6.237 and and so on so if you see in the tables in the initially we have a same populations okay so the reason behind is as initially both linear and exponential provide same y-intercept or same population, initial population and growth factor are also same in the initial year. So this is the reason 
why we have a same prediction for the two years. So last we have which model predicts larger population after 2000. So as we see in the tables after 2000, we have a more population in the exponential. The reason being is as exponential gives me a growth factor instead of same growth in the form of constant slope in the linear model. So growth factor always growing rapidly as we know that from the xy this is rapidly growing like this as oppositely linear model will grow like this linearly so it will give me a more growth okay this is the reason we have a more growth in the exponential model so thank you everyone